Hey everybody, and welcome to Bourbon Bites for this very special American edition. Um, so I, I realize I've been doing a lot of like scotch lately, um, but I wanted to take myself back to my roots and go all American for the stream. So um, this is actually the weekend that the 2020 Olympics would have been taking place. So I thought in honor of that, I would drink some of my favorite American whiskeys. Um, First of all, welcome everyone to the chat. Um, seeing you guys are chatting a good bit um, before the stream. Um, good to see so many of you, uh, new faces and um, familiar faces as well. So welcome to everyone. Um, hopefully we're drinking some American whiskey tonight. If you want to drink some scotch, you know, that's cool too. But um, the theme for tonight is American whiskey. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So first of all, um, what are you guys drinking? I did want to, before we get into the ones we're going to review today, I did want to pour a little bit something different. Um, this is uh, High West American Prairie. So I thought, what better way to celebrate the American spirit than with some whiskey that is all about celebrating the American spirit? Just a bit to get us started. Welcome everyone. Um, welcome Donnie, Brian, Andrew, Scary Peeper. Uh, Mike Meyer, like, I'm using everyone's real name, and then like, I see scary people. <laughs> Mike Meyer. Uh, oh, I saw some, some other people earlier, too. Here we go. Um, Doug, good to see you. Um, Wheels and Spencer. Tra of course, Trev was the first one here. <laughs> does American single malt count? Yes, it does. You know, it's, it's not really something that I have to, a lot of, but it's something that I can um, appreciate. I've been getting more into lately. Um, I just reviewed a distillery out here in California called 117 West. Um, if you missed that video, it's up on my channel. Um, they're, they're an American single malt whiskey. Um, they use um, malted barley as their, as their grain of choice. So, yeah, I put a little bit of the High West American Prairie. This is a barrel slide. This one's finished in a Manhattan barrel. Um, but it is a blend of their, I think it's their bourbon and their rye, right? No, it just has a blend of straight bourbons at least two years old. So it's pretty basic, but... I really like their barrel finishing that they do, so. Um, oh, welcome, Chris. Good to see you. I want to start a little lower because um, everything we're doing tonight is cast strength. I don't know if I said that earlier, but we're trying my favorite cast strength whiskey. So we're in for a fun night. Um, if you're new here or if you're just a uh, you know, casual viewer of the show, we do an after party after every Thursday night stream. So if you're interested in going to that, it's like a Google Hangout. We all sit around, drink whiskey, and just chat. Um, if you're interested in that, check out the Patreon. I posted the link earlier, but I'm sure Donnie or Trev um, will post a link sometime very soon. Um, $10 and up tier gets access to the after party. Um, it's, it's a ton of fun. These guys know it. Um, but if you if you don't want to do that, we also have other perks for other like lower tiers too. So I appreciate all the support you guys give me. And um, another way, if you want to support me, I also have some merch on sale at Threadless. Um, the link is down in the description below. Um, there's actually currently a sale for fifteen dollars. You can get my T-shirt, which is really cool. That's actually that's like the price that I would pay if I was getting my own T-shirt. So it's it's very affordable. It's just the regular the regular style. Um, but they have a few different color options, men's and women's. So if you're interested, uh, that's in the description below too. So, um, just if you guys are looking for ways to support the channel, but if not, totally cool. We're still gonna have a good time. Um, yeah, I really like that American Prairie. I think the, the Manhattan finish, it's not as like upfront. You would think it'd be a little more like sweet, like vermouth, like that, that red vermouth normally. It's a very strong flavor, but it's very, very subtle here. <laughs> Cliffy will be out for the Patreon. Oh, he will. Um, by the way, speaking of Cliffy, if you guys missed my stream last night, I was on with the Mash and Drum celebrating his two-year YouTube anniversary. Um, really great time. Tons of awesome YouTubers got together to do this blind tasting. So much fun. If you missed that, go check it out on his channel. Um, always good hanging out with him and everyone else there on the show. Um, so I'm trying to decide where I want to start today. Okay. So the categories, I mean, if you saw the thumbnail, you probably know what I'm drinking. But categories are favorite bourbon. Favorite weeded bourbon, favorite, these are all cast strength, favorite, okay, let's start over. Favorite cast strength bourbon, favorite cast strength rye, favorite cast strength weeded bourbon, favorite cast strength Texas bourbon, and favorite cast strength Tennessee whiskey. Um, should do like, I should do like an Oscars theme or like a, um, what was just on like the tellies, should do a tellies theme. <laughs> um, 
So I think what I want to start with is the one that's got the most attention lately. Um, uh, oh, thank you. Love last night's stream, Smash and Drum. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was, it was so much fun. Uh, I'm exhausted tonight. Five more drinks and I'll be out. <laughs> um, so we're starting with my favorite cast strength weeded bourbon. Um, and that happens to be Makers 46 cast strength. Now, up until this week, this was a distillery only, or you could have got it in a Costco gift set. Um, that's when I got this bottle from. It's like a smaller bottle. Um, they announced this week that this is going to be a standard release from the distillery. And I am so ecstatic. Like, I... I I love this whiskey. Like, um, and I know people are gonna say, like, what you picked that over Weller Foolproof. The thing is, though, I wanted to pick something that would be available, and this is supposedly gonna be very available when it comes out. So um, that's why I picked it as my favorite. We did. Um, I did just recently get a Foolproof uh, store pick. So if you guys are interested in watching a video about that, please let me know. Um, I, I'm trying to find out a way to do it. Um, I have a 107 pick from the same store. I um, mean, I have the regular Weller Foolproof, so it would be fun to do a side by side. But if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, but let's go ahead and get this um, Maker's 46 cast strength for it. Um, I saw what you guys were drinking earlier. Well, y'all are chatty tonight. I missed it. <laughs> um, just tried the Woodford Reserve Double Oak for the first time. It was good, but had higher hopes. Um, no, I think it, it's my favorite Woodford, I would say, but it's not. It, it, it's not my favorite double oaked product i honestly i think i prefer i'll be honest i think i prefer jim beam double oaked only because it's way cheaper and it's it that oak influence is really apparent on the 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 double oaking but to be fair it, it woodford double oak is my favorite woodford expression so um these two bars of logic barrel proof could end up with me falling asleep on the couch oh it has happened before brian yeah so i'm gonna try to do small pours let's gotta make sure i can make it to the hangout after Uh, welcome, Richie Z. Good to see you. Um, we're starting with the Maker's 46 cast strength. Soon, to come to your stores very soon. I don't know. So they, they didn't say exactly how widespread the release would be. Um, they said, so the email that I got just said coming to your state. But I know people from all different states got the same email. So I think I'm like fairly certain it's going to be nationwide release. But I could be wrong. But... We'll see. I, I honestly think it's 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 my favorite Maker's Mark expression. Oh, that nose. It's so good. So Maker's 46, um, even the non-Castro edition, they take their standard Maker's Mark and they finish it with 10 French oak staves. Um, so it's like a, a, a new toasted oak that they put down in the barrel and it has a really strong spicy influence on the flavor. I mean, if you've had some of the, the private selects from makers they do a similar thing they have different you know cuts of the wood or different toasting levels makers 46 was the original though it was the first one they did so releasing it at cast strength i am so excited for um michael j says woodford is nice but nothing exceptional for me yeah although i will say they're tasting i went to their distillery tour um, i didn't do the tour i just did the tasting when i was in kentucky last year and it, it was a really nice tasting they went through like the flavor wheel and everything so Really commend them on that. I think I think they're doing things right. I think they just cater towards a different audience than you know, like a lot of us that you know are. I don't know. We're we're more we're more experienced. I would say like we we, we like we appreciate what Woodford does, but we we also see that there's a lot more out there beyond Woodford. That's that's what I would say about that. But um, yeah, I cannot fault them. I, I do really enjoy their products. So. Good morning, Lil. Um, Chris says, Woodford Reserve Double double Oak. I have not had that one. It's much more oaky if that's what you're after. I'm not sure when the next release. Yeah, I actually looked for that at the distillery and they did not have it. Is that one cast strength, Chris? I, 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 I have a feeling it's higher proof, but I could be wrong. Or at least it's like 100 proof or something. I think it's, I think it's higher proof. How does it compare to the Maker's RC6? That's a good question. Um, I did like the Maker's RC6. I think it was a little... I think Maker's RC6 reminded me a lot more of, like, a private select. Like, it is, like, a really interesting, like, it's way more, like, I, can, I don't know, let me, I don't, I don't have it in front of me, but I know what it tastes like, because I've tried that more recently than I've tried this one. Um, 
it's a different kind of sweetness. The RC6 is very, um, it's almost like orange zest, whereas this one is more of the, the darker fruits. Like, it's it's fruity, but it's, like, more of, like, a, um, not, like, floral. It's, like, almost floral, but it's, like, a strawberry. Like, a strawberry, um, I don't know if you guys go to Starbucks, if you've ever had, like, the, um, very berry hibiscus refresher. I know it's, like, weird, but I, my husband works at Starbucks, so I get Starbucks all the time. It's, like, that deep, dark, rich, ras not really raspberry, but blackberry note on the 46, um, Maker's 46. Oh, it's only 90 proof. Oh, interesting. I thought the Double Double Oak was higher proof. My bad, I didn't realize that. Yeah, but I think the Maker's 46, not just the, the cast strength, um, but just the regular Maker's 46, it has an extra layer of spice, like a spiced fruit cake that I love. And having it cast strength, I mean, it, it seals the deal for me. This is, I, there. there's no doubt in my mind that this is my favorite cast strength weeded bourbon. Now, I haven't done it blind with Weller Full Proof, so I'll get that out of the way. I have not tried it blind, but I will say... There are some very fantastic foolproof picks, but I have had the standard foolproof that wasn't a pick, and it was it was very good, definitely better than one the one hundred seven, which is honestly like a fantastic whiskey. But what the Maker's Twenty Six brings to it in terms of the spice and the fruitiness, I think it's unparalleled, and I think it's a sleeper. So I'm really really excited to see them bring out the Forty Six Cast Strength. The RC Six has those shapes. Well, I know with the RC Six they did something unique it was an experimental stave this one is just the standard makers 46 stave it's crazy but I, i've tried it firsthand what they do with those staves makes a drastic difference depending on how they cut them how much they char them there is such an apparent dis apparent difference that i was blown away because i've tried them individually so i've had like one that's 100 percent the french cuvee stave 100 percent the mocha stave and they are vastly vastly different so I, I really love what they're experimenting with. They're not like changing up. They're keeping the standard maker's mark, but what they're doing is they're enhancing it with this finishing. So I love that. Larceny Barrel Proof is also a great option. I just, honestly though, I think I would much rather be drinking Maker's 46 Cast Strength all day over Larceny Barrel Proof. Now I've only had the A120. I have not had the B batch yet. So that one that one's supposedly better. We'll see when it makes it here to Southern California. <laughs> Yeah, it's oaky, but not in a, not off-putting way. And I was thinking it would have a little bit more of, like, toasted notes. Like, um, if you guys missed Perry's stream, he was on earlier reviewing the new Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, which I'm so excited to hopefully get my hands on. It doesn't really have those, like, marshmallow roasted notes that that had. Um, but there, there's a little bit of that sweetness there, that, like, a marshmallow kind of sweetness is, like, very, very close there. Um, which, speaking of the, not the devil, speaking of the, the, the I don't know what to call you whatever i'm not gonna <laughs> don't want to insult you we're in trying times where things are offensive um welcome perry <laughs> yeah so that was the maker's mark 46 cast strength big fan of it and i'm so excited to get my hands on another bottle um question for you guys have you guys seen this or have you guys tried this and like i said it was distillery only then it came in a gift set called like the what is it generations of proof i think that's what it was called just curious who else got this. It was at Costco. Um, and if you've tried it, did you like it? Um, there have been... Oh, wait. Juan says, congrats on the Weller bottle earlier this week. That's a win. Oh, yeah. No. I'm, I'm so glad. And I'm thankful for my local... You guys, talk to your local whiskey people. You'll find out about some really amazing things. Um, I was able to get my hands on a Weller foolproof pick. Um, I, I have tasted it. It is very, very good. Um, I, I will do a stream with that at some point soon. But I think for standard, standard weeded cast strength bourbon... I'm really excited for this to make an appearance in the regular lineup. Um, there have been two Weller foolproof picks that hit um, Maryland, and I have missed both. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know why. Why is Weller foolproof making a comeback? Because there are like three stores here in Southern California that just got picks. I don't know, maybe they're, they're doing it in waves. I don't know, but I, I'm here for it. It's just very hard to get. <laughs> okay, Perry's the devil. <laughs> um... You can thank former master stiller Greg Davis for those expressions. Oh, hey, cheers to Greg Davis. <laughs> um, <laughs> Aloha, Don. Good to see you. No worries about being late. There's always the replay. Hashtag replay squad if you're watching the replay. Um, I, I see you and I appreciate you. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and move on. So I'm trying to think what direction to go. I don't know. Y'all know. Y'all know. My favorite bourbon in general. My favorite bourbon. Not just Ledger Code Barrel Proof, but batch 
C918. My absolute favorite bourbon. Relative, available bourbon. How about that? I don't want to say favorite bourbon because I've had some like exceptional ones that are limited release or like whatever like that. My favorite regular bourbon is Legendary Barrel Proof. But this batch, you guys, exceptional. So I think we're going to save that for the end because I want to end on a high note. <laughs> These are all high notes, though. Like I said, favorite favorite cast strength whiskey. So um, what do you guys think? Should we move? Okay. This is a question I asked Perry at the, on his stream. Should we go Texas whiskey or should we go Tennessee whiskey? What do you guys think? Texas or Tennessee? Whichever gets the most votes um, will be the winner. Um, but while I wait for you guys to respond, I wanted to let you know about my stream this weekend. I am going to San Manuel Casino. Um, they sent me some awesome swag, by the way. Um, it's a local casino casino out here in Southern California. I'm going to do another slot play stream. So if you guys missed it when I was in Las Vegas, um, I think it was in June. Um, we played some slots. We drank some bourbon and we had a really fun time. So we're going to do that again, but it's going to be like at a local casino. So I do have to pay for drinks. It's not, it's not free like in Vegas, but if y'all want to see some slot play and like i'll do just like i did last time so any super chats to come through during that stream i'm going to do a high bet for you so if you send me ten dollars i'll do a ten dollar bet if you send me fifty dollars i will do a fifty dollar bet and if you send me a hundred bucks i will spend a hundred dollars on that machine so it, it's gonna be fun it, it was really fun we did it in vegas um those of you that were there um i think you guys liked it so um wow we're getting a lot of votes we got texas texas tennessee 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 texas tennessee texas looks like tennessee's the winner you guys so We'll go with Tennessee first. So, my favorite Tennessee whiskey is hands down Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. This is ridiculously good. I'm not the biggest Jack Daniels fan. I, I appreciate them for what they are as like a mixer. But you guys, even if you are a strictly like Kentucky bourbon drinker, you have to try the single barrel barrel proof. It's it's next level good if you've had it. Um, it's 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 Jack Daniels, but like completely, it's like Stag Junior level of like heat, but also flavor is like it's like it's like Jack Daniels pumped up to 11, 12, 13, really up there. <laughs> um, um, cheers, James. He says um, like the video. Yes, yes. If you guys give me a thumbs up. I always really appreciate that, um, and thank you for the heads up, James. Um, any kind of support you guys can give me, like I said, even if it's just a thumbs up, or if you want to give to the Patreon and um, come to the after party, that's fun too. So I just I just appreciate all you guys for all you do. So um, I just want to do something totally American tonight. So that's why we're back to Tennessee, Kentucky, and Texas bourbon and whiskey. <laughs> so let's see. Da, da, da. Really enjoy Sam Manuel. Seems like the only good place walk out without losing all my money oh no i love sam and well and um secret little bit of info once their steakhouse reopens they have a steakhouse called pines steakhouse their bourbon selection at pine steakhouse is absolutely fan freaking tastic best best whiskey selection i've ever seen in southern california i'm being totally honest there when i when i can't figure in prices so a little i'll give away a little bit of like an insider secret but their bourbon selection is ridiculous. So, um, so I see. It seems like you guys are loving the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. I, 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 I have to agree. Slot play. It sounds super dirty, Emily. <laughs> well, slot, slot. I don't know, anything goes in Vegas, but we're not in Vegas. We're in Southern California, so we gotta, we gotta keep it, gotta keep it PG thirteen. I guess R because you have to be old. Whatever. <laughs> Screw it. Yeah, we're, I'm not going to be completely wasted like in Vegas because, like I said, drinks cost money. I got to pay for them. But um, it's so much fun. I mean, I had so much fun last time. Um, by the way, let me know if my microphone's too loud. It looks like it may be a little loud. I can definitely turn that down if it's if it's too hot because I'm getting very close and talking very loud. So if it's too loud, I'll turn it down. Um, my phone is going off. What is happening? Just want to make sure there's nothing like urgent. Okay. Perry, tell your people. Why do I have 25 notifications from Perry's group? Y'all, y'all quiet down in there. <laughs> I just turned on Do Not Disturb. Um, banana pudding. That's a good note. I get like banana bread, like a, a really good banana bread muffin, but like a freshly baked one. Really, really like warm, hot. 
on the nose too. Like on the nose, this is banana bread muffin. I'm not the big fan, biggest fan of banana on bourbon, but when you introduce that baked good note, like the banana bread, it is, oh my gosh, just on the nose, I know this is going to be amazing. So I'll go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers, you guys. Man, that is hot. Is it one? This one is 100, 130.2 proof. This is hot. It's a beast. It is fantastic. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good, Barry. I was, I was just joking. I just might hear my phone every like five seconds, like. Rrr, 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 rrr. <laughs> um. Before I became a whiskey snob, Gentleman Jack was what I consider high-end whiskey. Hey, I honestly bought that because I was thinking, also, it, it, it seems like something's high-end. I mean, the packaging, just the, the, the whiskey itself. It, But to be fair, though, I tried it side-by-side side with regular Jack Daniels, and it's just, it, it was okay. It was good, but um, but I, I, I'm a fan of it. Pull the lever, play the slots, and drink bourbon. Hey, I do... Oh, uh, first super chat of the night. Thank you so much, Scary Peeper. Are we super chat tonight? Yeah, you guys can super chat any night. <laughs> it's it's always appreciated. It really does help grow the channel. It helps me afford bottles um, to review. Um, I'm unfortunately not on the mailing list of of distilleries like Heaven Hill, so I don't get the I don't get the new releases. So I have to go buy them with my own money. So I do. Super chats are awesome. Super chats, patrons, all of y'all. I, I I seriously seriously appreciate you, and y'all are what make me want to do this i mean i mean i would be doing it without the money too but i i, I y'all encourage me to keep going and try new things so cheers scary people this one's for you so i will say i have had a store pick of the jack daniel single barrel barrel proof it is a mouthful by the way especially when you're when you get a little a little toasted <laughs> later in the night it's hard to say um, but the store pick, I think, was definitely better. The, the store pick was not just that baked banana bread note, but it was super rich and viscous. Um, so this this non-store pick is, is very, very good. This was $55 on the shelf, it, I, and you can find it anywhere, at least in Southern California. So I do recommend it, but if you have a chance to find a store that has a pick of the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof store pick... <laughs> Pick it up. Ah, uh, Don Nishida, ten dollars super chat. Cheers. Here's to my bourbon fun, Don. Thank you. I, I was nervous last night. I, I told these guys I, I we had a super a super chat. <laughs> we had an earthquake at four thirty a.m. last night that woke me up from my sleep, and I, I my first thought was like, oh my god, my bourbon. <laughs> so I was like waiting for a, a bottle to crash. Um, but it fortunately settled down. I went to go check. Everything was totally fine. I still had bottles on my desk from Jason uh, Mash and Drum Stream. So I was like, oh my god, those are totally going to fall off. But nothing fell off. Everything was safe. We are safe. So um, yeah, the California life, right? <laughs> Earthquakes of the new um, hurricane. Like I was on the East Coast in Charleston, South Carolina. So um, earthquakes are our equivalent of it. Brian Brunicky, of course. Um, super chats for Super Thursday with Clifton and Perry. Cheers, Brian. I appreciate it. And um, Brian, I know you guys, uh, last time I was in Vegas, y'all sent some super chats. I did some spins for y'all. So um, if you save save your money because we can, we're going to do some spins on Saturday. Um, Timing-wise, I'm still trying to figure it out. I think it'll be around 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, so about 30 minutes earlier than tonight's stream. Um, just because I have my local groups doing a tasting at 8 p.m. my time, um, I kind of want to be back home for that. So but we might get started a little bit earlier, but I'll let you guys know. I'll post an event on uh, YouTube. You'll get a, a notification, hopefully. Um, if you don't have notifications on, on this little bell icon down there. So if you subscribe, first of all, I appreciate you subscribing. But if you also have that bell notification, every time I go live, you'll get a little pop-up on your phone that goes, Clifton's live. So if, you, if you're curious about that, I, I have that on for a few different creators. Um, so that way you, you, you'll know like, Hey, he's, he's on, he's on. We're good. We're good to go. So <laughs> thank you, Perry. I, I think it, I think it's good too. I think I need to get some merch that says something about do a barrel roll and have like a bourbon barrel. We'll, we'll see. I have a graphic designer friend. I mean, I know Perry, I know you do that too. Um, one of my best friends growing up, he does like product design. So I think I, I'm going to hit him up, but if he's not, if he doesn't want to do it, Perry, I'm hitting you up. We're going to, we're going to do some merch together. <laughs> 
Um, Wheel says he might have to donate to that. Oh, yeah, totally. And you guys you know that, yes, yes, I am gambling away your money, but at the same time, it's money I would have spent anyways. So um, it'll be a lot of fun, I promise you guys. If you've never gone to a slot channel, slot, S-L-O-T channel on YouTube, they are a ton of fun. One of my favorite is Brian Christopher Slots. So if you want to prepare for my stream, go check him out. Um, he's, he's way better than I am, but he's he's honestly my inspiration for doing the slot stuff. Um, really fun guy. I know, I know a couple of you guys know him, so. Um, Joseph Razor says, looks like we're not doing Vegas this year. Maybe next time. Um, yeah, so I, I am still... For for those of you guys that are curious, I am still planning to go to Vegas for um, Labor Day weekend. Labor Day? Yeah, Labor Day. Um, September 3rd through 7th, I will be in Las Vegas. Um, it's kind of like an unofficial meetup thing. But if you are close like I am, like we're going to drive. We're not going to fly. Um, probably might fly. We'll see. It's, it's local for us. We're going to take all the precautions with masks and everything like that. Um, if you happen to be in the area and you're planning to come out, there is a Facebook event on facebook.com slash bourbon bites. Um, there is a Facebook event page. So please let me know if you're going to be able to make it. I want to plan something fun. Of course, we're not going to be able to gather like I would like, but I think we could still do something fun. We can do a, um, maybe a group pool where we all put in a certain amount of money and then we split the winnings. I think that would be a lot of fun. So, so yeah, if you, if y'all can make it to Vegas, I'll tell you right now, prices of hotels are bottom line extremely we are staying in flamingo for completely free the entire labor day weekend in a strip view highest end room they have like to be fair we do have caesar status so there there's that but also even even during normal times with status we would never get a deal like that so just it's just an option to consider um it's it's I know it's not the best time to travel. Like I said, we're keeping it local. We're driving. Um, so if y'all are interested, please let us know. Um, yes, merch cloud, Perry. We'll, we'll figure something out. We're both on Threadless, too, so we can make it happen. <sighs> so this, yeah, this Jack Daniels is... I, I already talked about it. I'm going to drink it again, because why not? I know, Lil. I, I'm I'm so sad that you guys aren't able to join us, but next year, next year, we're gonna have an absolute. This is just the trial. This is the test. <laughs> so anyone that makes it to this this hangout, prepare for an even better one next year with Chris and Lil. Um, Wheels says I'll have a stream probably coming in the near future for my GoFundMe sample and bottles given away for those who donate. Oh yeah, yeah, if you guys, I don't know if, if your GoFundMe's still alive, check out his GoFundMe. Um, he was in a car accident, um, trying to just make up some money to get through and get everything settled and get figured out. Please go check him out. Um, I don't have the link handy. Maybe one of the mods has it. Um, I'm not sure if it's still alive, but if it is, go check him out. Um, also, I don't know if, a lot of you guys know Ed from uh, the Rock Gut Review. He has been very, very sick lately. Um, he was in the hospital. Fortunately, he's home now and recovering, so there's that. But you guys, please go show him some love. Go on his older videos. They're, they're taking a little bit of a break from YouTube, him and Erica and uh, Dad. So go show them some love. Um, just send them, you know, good vibes. But once they are ready to go back into streaming, we're going to change our lineup a bit. So Perry's going to go on a little bit earlier. They're going to go on, and then I'm going to go on. So once the, once they're back up and running, um, we will change our lineup a bit. But it's, it's not going to change that much. It's, it's going to go back like 30 minutes or whatever. So, um, And there'll, there'll be three of us to hang out with, so even better. <laughs> Um, so, okay, I'm going to move on. I still have the Tennessee whiskey, but I'm going to move on to Texas because Texas whiskey is one of the ones that, you know, I keep coming back and forth on. Do I like it? Do I love it? Or do I not like it? So I think I picked my favorite cask strength Texas whiskey. And based on what I have now, I got to go with Balcones. Now, this is Balcones' is Texas bourbon. Their blue corn bourbon. This is 65% ABV. This is hot. Um, so I actually picked this up from a local store. They were one of the first ones in Southern California to get it in. Um, I had a friend just selling me on. He's like, man, this is like Stag Jr. So I was like, you know what? You gotta tell me it tastes like Stag Jr. And I'm like, I'm gonna go buy it. <laughs> so I got, I got sold on it as a Stag Jr. Not replacement, but it's, it's like in that same territory. So 
we're gonna try that one and then we're gonna move on to my favorite rye and my favorite bourbon of all time so um, stick around but James asked C918 is that as good as compared to B519 C919 and B520 I've not had B520 but compared to the last year's releases C918 blows it away um, Andrew Buchanan says he's from Texas and not thrilled by a lot of it. Yeah, I, I think that it's it's a very unique taste. It's it's unlike any other whiskey in America, and you know I can appreciate it for that, but I can also um, understand why it's not everyone's thing. Um, Michael says, "Good night, my friend. Have to be up early for work. Good night, Michael. Thank you for sticking around. Um, I appreciate it." So on the nose, man, even compared to the Jack Daniels on the nose, it's that banana bread, but this is, again, like I said, I was, I was introduced as a stag junior type whiskey on the nose. I would not deny that. That is caramel. You can tell it's high proof just on the nose. It doesn't smell like a, a Texas whiskey. And I think that's what makes it interesting. Your friend's a liar. Well, okay. Okay. I, he did not mean it tasted like Stag Jr. He meant that it has the same kind of punch as Stag Jr. So I should clarify it. But on the nose, it's just as big and bold as Stag Jr. is. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Cheers, you guys. There's a giant fly in here. I was distracted. Oh, yeah. Man, that's good. That is the sweetest Texas whiskey I've ever had. It still has a little bit of that, I guess I'd say Texas funk, that like super oaky element to it. Age on this, they do say it's at least 27 months old. Do you guys see this giant fly? Oh my God, it's freaking me out. So it is young, but Texas whiskey tends to be young. That sweet corn though is absolutely delicious and paired with that rich, like an intense oak, not like oak, like an older oak, like a Knob Creek. This is like licking a, a, a bunghole. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. It was the fly, I swear. Um, to not land on me. If you land on me, I will freak the frick out. <laughs> yeah, man, that that's like, it's like a super oaky, intense oaky note. But not in the way that it's, it tastes well aged. I don't think it comes across like an aged oak note. It comes across as like a, you put like barrel, barrel char into the glass. Fantastic. Fantastic. I honestly was curious to try these side by side, the Tennessee whiskey, the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, side by side with Balcona's barrel proof. I will say, if you're a regular Jack Daniels lover and you love that banana note, you'll prefer the Jack Daniels. However, if that's not normally your jam, like to me, like that's not normally my jam, but I think this is the exception. If that's not normally your jam, this Balcones barrel strength bourbon is more up your alley. And I think it's a great introduction into Texas whiskey. It's not that over oak. It, it has the, the overly oaked notes, but there's a lot more going for it. There's way more flavor, more sweetness, I would say. More sweetness than I've ever gotten on a Texas whiskey. So... Um, yeah, Lil says there's a store selling it. Yeah, please go check it out. Um, okay, you guys are, you heard the fly. Yeah, it's literally, it's huge. Like, normally, like, gnats, like, for some reason, gnats come to my bourbon. Like, anytime I open our window, like, these little baby gnats come in. However, that was a, that was not a gnat. Gnats, I'm like, oh, whatever, they're, they're here, they're here, shoo, shoo. But this one's like, <laughs> so, <laughs> So I'll, I'll handle that. Um, maybe during the maybe during the after party, we'll go on a fly fly hunt. <laughs> oh man! But that that Texas that balcon is Texas bourbon, absolutely fantastic. And I would someone's gonna use this screen cap of like this moment, and they're gonna use it in a montage of me. Um, Donnie, no, no. I know you think I'm hitting that record button. No. <laughs> um, go! It likes my lights and it likes my bourbon. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So what are you guys drinking? 
before we move on to our final two ports, then I'm curious to hear what you guys have in your glass. Um, Old Forester single barrel today. I keep trying. So Donnie, is that the new the new cast strength one? <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going over my microphone. Is that the new caster? Because I, I have not tried the caster strength one, but I've heard good things. Ew, I touched it. Ew. I don't want to squish it. It's big. It's a honker. Honk. Honker? I don't... Okay. I love you guys. <laughs> um, is this the true blue caster? So this is the... So the one thing I will say about Balcones is their labeling is changes all the time. There is a true blue barrel strength. There's also a true blue whiskey. They're, they have so many different labels that are the same. This looks exactly like the true blue barrel strength whiskey. However, this is called their blue corn bourbon. And I think that's because they use new charred oak barrels. Normally with the, the corn whiskey, they use used barrels. Because like you see in Texas, the, the oak influence is... I mean, look, do you see the color on this? It's, it's absolutely almost impossible to see through it's so dark um so they did use new charred oak for their bourbon which is awesome and you can tell it definitely took the oak influence off of it <laughs> um that was such an accurate fly sound to it again oh yeah i'm totally faking it i have a little soundboard it's like fly sound <laughs> uh Old Force is um, single barrel in North Carolina, sipping old regular McKenna. I've never had the regular McKenna, actually, the the, the cheaper brown bottle. Um, I do need to try it, though. I, I mean, I think I would like it. I like budget pours, and that sounds like a good one. Buffalo Trace, Stag Junior 12. Oh, you guys have some great pours tonight. Um, Lil has green tea. He has to work this. Um, you use the definition for Arvo. That's like, a, that's like a slang, and I think that means afternoon. I've never heard that before, though. Work this Arvo. <laughs> fire brigade and company. Yeah, I'm sorry. I even moved to a different apartment and the fire, the, the sirens out the back window are just as loud as my other apartment. So I do apologize. At 90 proof, it's not bad. I'm so ready for cast strength one. Um, not the cast strength. It was picked from Memphis Bar. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very curious to try the cast strength Old Forester. Maybe it'll sell me. Although, like I said, I did, I did a blind flight last night on Jason's channel over at the Mash and Drum. Um... I will say Old Forester did better than I thought it would. So it, it th there is a surprise there. It did a little better than I thought it would. Um, Perry says four rows of small batch select is... Oh, wait. I don't know. Oh, that's what you're drinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was my pick for Jason's stream as what I thought would win. Only because I thought it was like an underdog. And people are going to forget this one. It's going to be so good. But if you watch the stream, you'll know that I think the proof on that one, that let me down a little bit. It did it. It wasn't... It wasn't in the same realm as a Russell's Reserve, a Knob Creek Single Barrel, um, or even Old Force 1920. So, I check out his stream. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything, but um, that was that was my bet for what would be the winner. <laughs> um, Patrick is still driving home. Well, Patrick, feel free to join us at the after party um, once you make it home, if if you're up for it. Aussie slang for afternoon. I know I've just never heard it until I met y'all. So I'm sorry, Ar Arvo afternoon. That's so I don't understand. It doesn't make sense, but. All right, we got two more whiskeys to get through tonight. Um, by the way, thank you all for hanging out this long. Um, I'm so excited for the after party. Like I said, uh, I've been trying to set this thing up to send you a message, but I don't think it works. Oh, wait. <gasps> it worked. Oh, okay. I'm so excited that it worked. Um, so the Patreon link is there for our after party that starts immediately following the stream. Um, of course, you get some merch over at bourbonbites.threadless.com, and you can follow me on Instagram at bourbonbites. So... Um, again, appreciate y'all. I'm not letting out. I still got two more whiskeys, but um, I'm, I'm just happy that worked. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting used to the streaming thing. Like, I have my little thing, like, when y'all super chat. By the way, if you haven't super chat, you get a cool little animation and your name on the screen. So if that interests you, um, you send, a, send it away. <laughs> also, if you join the Patreon, I'm pretty sure if you join the Patreon, a little notification comes up. So if anyone wants to test that theory out and become a member of the Patreon tonight, um, we'll, we'll see if it works. So... <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and move on. We have about 20 minutes here left. Um, I do want to spend some time with my favorite, um, which y'all know what's coming. The, the C918 Elijah Craig Braille Proof. Oh, my absolute favorite. <laughs> Flies of protein, that's fine. Oh, Emily. Uh, I don't want to put... I think if I had to pick one of these to pour out. Not pour out, but... I'm doing a dump glass, so I'm going to add them both. We're going to do a, 
a little final dump glass experiment at the end. So I do want to rinse those because those are both very strong flavors. Um, so I'm going to use my San Manuel Casino water water bottle to rinse these out. I also probably should drink more water too because Casper hits you hard. Almost all the C batches of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for hitters. I would agree. So C919, I did like, but I think I prefer the B over it. C919 was very hot, and I appreciate that. Although I think I like the flavors of the B batch last year. Um, this year, the A120 is it's okay. It's it's not my favorite. I don't keep grabbing it like I grab the other ones. Um, but it, it, it I'm excited to try the B batch this year and the C. Oh, I hope I hope they're both very good. I've heard good things. Although Perry on his podcast said that, um, by the way, if you haven't checked out Perry's podcast, it's This Is My Bourbon Podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the biggest podcast person. I listen to it when I'm like, I, I always catch up on his trips when I'm driving to Vegas. I listen to his his podcast. So like I'll occasionally listen to one, but like whenever I'm like have a long road trip, I literally just marathon it. I go through like five episodes there and five episodes back like i just I, I love this podcast so please check it out um but what was i saying oh he said that he thought that the elijah craig barrel proof batch b wasn't as good as batch a but he thought the the um larceny barrel proof b was better than the batch a so very very excited uh donnie i appreciate it i wish i could highlight your comment he says if y'all don't join the after party you don't know what you're missing you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> I don't I don't know what I'm missing too, because by the end of it I'm like, woo. <laughs> um Joseph just got the B520 a couple of weeks ago. Hydration allows for even more sipping. Very true, Richie. Uh Andrew hasn't been able to get his hands on any Elijah Craig barrel proof. Man, keep an eye out. If you see it, if you see it, grab it. As long as it's not like a ridiculous price. I would pay up to thirty to forty dollars more for um, a Legend Craig Braille Proof if I couldn't find it. Um, but here it's it's pretty common. We just haven't seen the latest batch yet. Thank you, Perry. <laughs> so Brian disagrees with your consensus with the the Elijah Craig Braille Proof. Well, hey, we, I gotta try it myself, and maybe maybe I'll have a I'll either agree or disagree. We'll see. But I need to drink this water so I can get onto my favorite freaking rye and my favorite freaking bourbon. Okay. Hydration check. So before we get to the, my favorite cast strength bourbon, we're going to go with my favorite cast strength rye. So far, this is as of July 30th, 2020. It's got to be Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. I know this is hard to find. I know. I did try to avoid ones that were harder to find and ones that most people couldn't get. This is probably, out of all of these, this is the rarest. So I will apologize for that. Um, but I will say, if y'all... This isn't even the Toasted Barrel. I love the Toasted Barrel one. But if y'all have a chance to get the Barrel Strength Rye from Michter's, this is what the bottle looks like. Um, there's different batches. It is hands down, honestly, not even just my, my favorite like rye. It's my second favorite whiskey after Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This, I'm gonna go ahead and pour both of them so they can open up a little bit. It just hit 105 here, $105 or 105 degrees. Hope that's not degrees, that's hot. It's like not that hot here. Or maybe it is. Hey Google, what's the temperature? Uh, it's only 85 here, so I don't know if you're talking about the temperature or not, but 108. Jesus, Joseph, that's crazy. Rare breed rye. I have not had a chance to try the rare breed rye. Um, I've heard good things. I just is, have not seen it here in California. Okay, this is the Elijah Craig. It's going to sit over here because I'm going to be so tempted to drink it. Oh, I love it so much. Ugh. Um, Brian Bernicke knows. He, he collects the, <laughs> the C918 as well. So here we have the Michter's Barrel Strength Bourbon. Or, sorry. I have not tried the Michter's Barrel Strength Bourbon for good things. This is the Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. So on the nose, it's, it's honestly, so I think this is one of those ones that are considered like not quite barely legal, but it is a lower rye mash build than what you would expect for a rye. I will say though, the nose, the nose, it nose is like a rye. 
And I appreciate that. I love that. It's it the rye is like a toasted rye. It's it's not even the toasted barrel one, but it's like a heavily charred rye, which I don't usually get on a rye. We don't know the age on this. They don't give you any kind of an age statement as far as I know. It is 113.7 proof. This is the 2016. I don't know, I can't tell. It's either a six or eight. It's either the 2016 or the 2018 batch. Not sure. Either one I would be happy with. <laughs> um, Richie asks, does my total wine have a random allocated bottles behind the customer service counter? I picked up that Mictors for $79 retail, but had to ask. So I actually, my new apartment is a lot closer to a total wine than I've ever been before. So I have yet to figure that out. I know a lot of my friends out here literally line up at total wine at the door at opening and they get their, their allocated releases. However, I have not done that. So I don't know. I, I'm still figuring that out, but I knew, do know in Southern California, that is definitely a thing. It's been a hot minute since I've had this one. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad to do it side by side with my favorite bourbon, the Elijah Cook Barrel Proof, because that's hard to beat. That's so good. It is spicy. It's like a rye spice. But that mouthfeel is... It's so oily. It's so thick and viscous. It's it's still on the lighter side though. Like it's thick and viscous, but like flavor wise, it's still in that like minty eucalyptus typical rye flavor profile. I will say, absolutely best finish I've ever had on a rye whiskey. It hug that Kentucky hug hits you just like a cast strength bourbon. Um, so I will do side by side with the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C918 favorite batch ever um so i'm gonna give that a taste now cheers you guys this is y'all I, I i i love y'all y'all know i love you because i'm choosing you with my favorite bourbon i just opened this bottle to do a review so y'all deserve it cheers hopefully you're drinking something good too if you if you're not then, then pour it out get another glass and drink something good because because we're here to celebrate tonight especially gonna go, especially cliffy's coming out Especially if you're going to come to the after party, because we, we are going to drink all the good stuff. Um, Robot Scott's heading out. i got to run. Everyone have a great night. Cheers, Robot Scott. Thank you for being here so consistently. You are awesome, and have a wonderful night. Cheers. Oh, I'm, I'm like hearing the hallelujah. Like, I even want to put on some freaking... American music. Here we go. This is what I'm feeling in my mouth right now. This is, <laughs> it is exploding. It is so good. Ha. Ah, yeah, no, no. The, the Mictor's Rye is great. Mictor's Rye is great. However, that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C918, they're all great, but Batch C918, I swear to God, best freaking bourbon best freaking under a hundred dollar bourbon <laughs> i will say that because there, there are some very high-end bourbons that are that are like um, they're, they're like legit seriously good best freaking regularly ish available bourbon ever so i will i, I do want to go back to the, i'm gonna give the makers a chance I, I i love them both i'm not gonna lie i i would buy any of these in a heartbeat If, if I was stranded on a desert island, you're like, what two American whiskeys would you have on that island with you? Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C918 and Victor's Barrel Strength Rye. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. If I want to, if I want something a little lighter, I will water it down a bit. Um, if I want something a little hotter, I will um, drink it naked, sunbathing <laughs> on the beach. I don't know. Huh. So, yeah, Electric Ray Barrel Proof is incredible. I completely agree. And I, I, I hope for future batches that if they are nearly this good, they are... I mean, honestly, even if they're not this good, buy them. Electric Ray Barrel Proof is so good for the music. Aw, thank you, Ladoo. 
Appreciate it, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> For the music. Thank you. No, that's awesome. I appreciate it. Um, and Ledoux, I think you're, I think you're a patron, right? I, I think you're a patron. If so, um, hopefully I'll see you in the after party. I know, you, I know you've been there before. Um, it was great to see you. So, um, quick, we're losing. <laughs> oh no, you're not losing me. The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is, I'm getting lost in it. It's just, oh, it's so fantastic. So in these final moments, um, please use plenty of sunscreen. Will do. Um, please don't live stream that. Oh no, don't worry. Don't worry. I do want to do more travel streams. I love doing the Vegas one. I'm excited for Saturdays. Um, like I said, if y'all missed it, I'm doing a stream from a casino, doing some slot play, slot, S-L-O-T play, this Saturday at San Manuel Casino. Um, like I said, they sent me some awesome merch. They sent me this and some koozies. Um, so I think, do y'all call them koozies? Is that a Southern thing? Koozies that you put your like, beer down in? We call them koozies. I don't know. <laughs> so... Keep an eye out for that on Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, not on Patreon yet. That may have been one of the time when I was um, inviting everyone. Well, hey, you're totally welcome to join. I appreciate it. So, Richie says C918 is worth $100 to what you get in the bottle. Oh, absolutely. I would, I, like I said, it's absolutely freaking the most amazing thing ever. I'm going to say something controversial. <laughs> Censored slot play. <laughs> um, koozies. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure I wasn't crazy. Um, I have the new Master's Keep, the 17-year bottle and bond. This is up. I paid $180 for that, which is I know it's a little over MSRP, but it's what it was here. I would pay the. Ex uh, don't tell Heaven Hill this. Please don't tell Heaven Hill this. I would pay that price for a whiskey this good. If I knew it was going to be consistently this good, not like, you know, there are other batches that are still good, but not my favorites. If it were consistently as good as Ledge Craig batch C918, I'm not going to lie. I would pay 180 is a bit much. Not not saying it's like I would pay that regularly, but this is as worth it as the new Master's Keep is, in my opinion. Oh, Lil, y'all have the weirdest stubble cooler. Oh, a stubby cooler. Stubby. It's like a stubby. Stubby. Oh, wait, no, I have them here. They're right here. Got my stubby cooler um, assembled in Mexico. You can't see that. <laughs> they also sent me a towel, which is pretty cool. It's like a workout towel, so I don't think I'm going to be using it anytime soon because I'm really bad. But with that, I think I'm going to call it a night here. Um, Got to get ready for the after party, like I said. If y'all are interested in joining it, um, hopefully they send a little message. Yeah. There's the link to the Patreon right there. Yeah, I, I would pay 100 180 is pushing it because that's the most I've ever paid for a whiskey. I'm just saying it's up there in quality. Uh, stubby is a great word. Stubby slot play. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get censored, so guys, turn that off. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, if y'all want to come to the, hang the Hangout, check out the Patreon. Um, like I said, the $10 and up tier. Um, is the level to get into the after party, but we also do lots of things for the lower tiers too. Um, hopefully y'all have an awesome night. I am so excited for this weekend. Um, Friday, Saturday cannot come fast enough. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all on Saturday for our really fun and really different stream. So cheers. Love y'all. I, I can't, I only have one arm. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Ah, okay. Clicking out. Okay, bye.